Hello. Uh, today we're going to talk about linear relationships and uh, we're actually going to be uh, going back over the information that we already have learned about proportional and non-proportional relationships and then we're also going to be using that information to predict. All right, so we're going to uh, finding the equation of a linear relationship Remember that we use the slope-intercept form where y equals mx plus b. m is your slope or your rate of change, and b is the initial value or uh, the y-intercept. Example 1, a handrail runs, runs alongside a stairway. As the horizontal distance from the bottom of the stairway changes, the height of the handrail changes. Show that the relationship is linear and then find the equation for the relationship. And it looks like they've already plotted the points for us in this graph. Uh, we have one at 5 feet. It, uh, the height was at 7 feet. When the distance was at 10 feet, it was at 11 feet high. And 15 feet was 15 feet high. And so forth. Um, all of the points lie on the same so if I were to draw a line through this, let's see if I can get that to work. It's pretty close. That's better. All right, so um, all these points are on the same line. So what's that telling me is that it is linear. Um, one thing we also notice is it does not go through zero, so it's non-proportional. Um, we can write the equation by using any two points to find our slope, and they're using 5 and 7, and then the 25, 23. So we're going to take the points from this line, and we're going to find the slope. So we have 23 minus 7 and 25 minus 5. Well, 23 minus 7 is 6. And 25 minus 5 is 20. And this can simplify down to uh, 3 over 10. And so our slope is 3, 3 over 10 or 3 tenths. So that's our slope. And then we want to find the, um, the y-intercept. And we really can't tell for sure there. So we're just going to put any two points in and determine. So let's use this 5, 7. So 5 is x, and that's what they used here. And 7 is my y. We have our slope, which is 3 tenths. And if I take 3 tenths uh, times 5, I get... 1 and 5 tenths, and then when I subtract 1 and 5 tenths from each side, I get 5 and 5 tenths. So that's going to be my y-intercept. Now that I know my slope and I know my y-intercept, I can write my equation y equals 3 tenths x plus 5 and 5 tenths. Your turn, number one, they want you to find the equation of each linear relationship. And the first one, they give it to us in a graph form. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for any two points on the graph that's going to be easy to work with. When I look at this, I notice that they're going up by 20s. And across here, they're going across by 5s. So I'm going to keep that in mind. So I see this point here. And this one is at... 10, uh, 60, and then if I look at 30, and this one would be 140. Remember, it doesn't matter which two points you use on the line, uh, just pick two. So we're going to take 140 minus 60 over 30 minus 10. Uh, 140 minus 60 is 80, and 30 minus 10 is 20, 
and I can simplify that to be 4. So my slope is 4. I'm going to pick any, any point. Let's do the 10, 60. So 60 is my y, 4 is my slope, uh, 10 is my x, that's 40. Uh, so subtract 40 from both sides. B equals 20. So I have my y-intercept. I have my slope. My equation is going to be y equals 4x plus 20. Now let's take a look at the next one, number two. Uh, this one is from a table and they are giving us uh, quite a bit of information here and we need to determine what the uh, slope is and what the y-intercept is. So the slope and then the y-intercept. So let's start with the slope. So I can take any two points and I can uh, use that to find my uh, slope. I'm going to pick this one and this one. So I've got 7,200 minus 3,600 and then I'm going to take 30 minus 15. I get 15 when I on the, for my x change, and for this one, um, is 36. And I can simplify down this more by dividing it by 15, and that gives us 240. So my slope is 240. I can pick any of these. Uh, let's go with this ordered pair. My y um, is 480. My slope we said was 240. My hours is 2, so my x is 2. And this would be 480 plus b. Subtract 400 from each side, 480 from each side, and I get B, which is zero. So knowing that this is um, zero for my intercept, uh, I need to remember when I write my equation that um, there is no B. So 240x, no B because my y-intercept was at zero. Okay. We can use these to make predictions. Uh, it says the graph shows the cost of a taxi ride for different distances. You can predict the cost of a taxi ride that covers a distance of 6.5 miles. Uh, the first thing I would do would be to write an equation from this. And so I would pick two points on here that I can uh, easily work with. And they use these two points here, two, seven, and 615. Find the slope by finding the difference of y over the difference on x. And so you get 8 over 4, which is 2. So my slope is 2. And then picking 1, uh, looks like they use the 15, uh, the 6 and the 15. 15 is my y, 6 is my x. Uh, if I take 12 from 15, I get 3. So my y intercept is 3. So my equation is 2x plus 3. Now they want to know what the prediction would be for 6.5 miles. And x is the number of miles. This is our x. So all I have to do is put in 6.5 in my equation. And that's going to tell me what y is. So 6.5 times 2 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. So Y is telling me it's going to cost $16. Okay. 
All right. Um, your turn. Paulina's income from a job that pays her a fixed amount per hour is shown on the graph. Use the graph to find the predicted value. The income earned for working two hours is what? So two hours is about here. Uh, looks like these are going up by 10, so that would be 30. Income earned for three and a half hours would be what? Well, it looks like it starts at zero, zero. So I have the point zero, zero. And then I have two and 30 that I can use. Because it's crossing at zero, zero, I know that my y-intercept is zero. My slope is going to be 30 minus zero over two minus zero is 30 over two, which we know is 15. So my slope is 15. So my y equals 15, x is my equation. Now let's determine what three and a quarter hours are going to be. So I'm going to take my y equals 15 times 3.25. And that's going to tell me how much I earned there. If you said $48.75, that is correct. Oops, 70, $48.75. Now find the total income earned for working five eight hour days all at the standard rate. So five eight hour days. So what's one eight hour day going to be? If you said that one day is going to cost you $120 or would earn her $120, you were correct. Now that wants to know for five days. So what would you do there? Right. You're going to multiply the 120 by five and that's going to give you, that's going to give you $600. So the amount earned for working five, eight hour days is $600. If you have any questions, please make sure you speak with your teacher. You'll notice that you have three questions in the notes. I would like for you to work those out. And if you have any questions, come see me. Thank you.